Okay, this is a demonstration video on how to mount a foot brake to a Jolly Dolly. First thing you want to do is make sure you have everything and lay everything out. Here is the assembled foot brake. You want to lay it behind the dolly. Springs up, resting on the beveled edge right there. Your mounting brackets with the holes should be facing forward. Here we have our spacers that you should have received in your package left and right. Uh, you should make sure that you have four mounting bolts and four lock nuts. Tools that you're going to need. A 532nd Allen wrench. Uh, you're going to need uh, two crescent wrenches, 7 sixteenths and one half inch. Also a one half inch deep socket with a ratchet. You're going to need two clamps similar to this. You can try using C clamps, but I would highly recommend these instead. You're also going to need a power drill with a one quarter inch drill bit. Okay, let's get started. First thing you want to do is to mount these spacers. You have the PVC pipe goes on the front bar here. Just like that. Okay. Then you're going to lift this up. And slide this under here like this. So you want your back bar resting on there, your front bar all the way into this uh, PVC pipe. Same thing on the left side. Okay, once you have your spacers mounted, you just want to pick the whole thing up by the spacers and set it on top of the tires and slide it in so that these two mounting brackets go on the inside of the frame. Okay, so now the brake is resting on the tires. The mounting brackets are inside the frame like this. Now, we can take the frame, and by pushing it forward or backward, we can rotate the tires, which will move this bracket forward or backward. That's the way we're going to line this up. And you may have to kind of twist the frame a little bit if one of these is further forward than the other one. The goal is to have this lined up just like this. Notice that this edge is not designed to line up with this edge. So don't try to make that happen. It should look like this. And you want this front top corner of the mounting bracket to be flush with the frame rail like this. You don't want it like this where it sticks out and can catch on something. And you don't want it further back. If you get it right where it's flush with the frame, okay, now both of your holes are going to be drilled through uh, where they're not too close to the edge of the frame rail. So you want to double check on both sides that you have this alignment right. Once you're sure that your alignment is correct, you take your clamp. Put it on here. You want it centered between the two mounting holes because remember you're going to have to drill through these holes. So set it right there and just gradually clamp it down until it comes flush up against the uh, frame rail. Same thing with the other side. Double check your alignment before you do anything. Adjust it if necessary. Make sure your, uh, your top corner is flush. Okay, same thing with the other side. Center it between the holes. Gradually clamp down until 
the mounting plate meets the frame rail. Then keep pumping it. And this is why I like these clamps. This needs to be really tight. You don't want it to move. These grips put, I think, uh, 200 or 300 pounds of force. Um, now see right there, that's not correct. On this side, we're flush, more or less. This side is back a little bit. That's no good. So what we want to do is release the clamp. We want to grab the frame rail. And I'm just going to inch this forward. As, the, as I do this, the tire is rolling, which is going to make it easy to, to make this come further forward. Just, just very slight movements here. Okay. Now we're lined up. Clamp it slowly. Slowly close that gap until it's flush with the frame rail. Now we recheck. We're flush. Okay, so one last check before we drill anything. We want to make sure that both of the mounting brackets are flush with the frame rail. Okay, we want to check the actual locations just to make sure when we drill through the frame rail, we're actually going through the rail and not on the very edge of it where it's going to weaken it. And we want to make sure, see that gap? That's no good. We need to get rid of that gap. Same thing over here, there's a gap. So what we can do, in this case, we just kind of knock it down. It's not clamped hard enough to resist it. Now we're flush. So we are good to drill now. But before you drill, please make sure that everything is flush. The spacer should be sitting flush on the tire. The top bar should be flush on the spacer. And both of your mounting brackets need to be flush with the frame and double check the actual location of your mounting holes to make sure you're going through the frame rail not too close to the edge of it that could weaken it. Once you're 100% sure all this is correct, you're ready to drill. So you take your drill with your quarter inch drill bit. The drill bit is going to go through the hole in the mounting bracket and you're going to be drilling all the way through this frame rail. You want to keep the, the drill as straight as possible and go all the way through. You can only have one try at this so just make sure everything's perfect before you drill. And repeat this process for all four holes. Okay, when you're done drilling, it should look like this. The bottom hole should be closer towards the back of the frame. And the top hole should be closer to the middle of the frame. Now you want to take your mounting bolts. They go from the outside in all the way through the frame rail and through the mounting bracket on the other side. Now you take your lock nut over here to the other side and you mount those on there. All right, so once you got all your bolts through and your lock nuts on, the next step is just take your Allen wrench and your 7 16 crescent wrench and tighten these bolts up. You want them nice and snug because you don't want this to shift. It's not going to have much play in it, even if it were able to shift around, but uh, make them tight anyway. All right, once you got everything tightened down, it's time for the moment of truth. You release your clamps. 
you pull off your spacers and now you check the operation of your foot brake. First of all, you're going to want to make sure that you have plenty of clearance. I say plenty, you basically are making sure that this first bar, the front bar, is not dragging on the tires or not dangerously close to doing so when the dolly rolls. Now you want to take your foot, ease into the brake. It should, the front bar should contact the tires at approximately the same time, really close. And then you want to press all the way down until your back bar hits the tire. And you want to just pump the brakes a few times as you roll it forward. It should give it a definite stop. You should notice, I don't know if you can see it in the video, the front bar should actually dig down into the tire. You should actually see the, the tire kind of collapsing under it. It's designed to do that to really stop it. And then once you get the touch from the back bar, that's what really locks the brake into place. So as long as this is operating properly and the front bar contacts both tires at approximately the same time, you are good to go. The last thing you want to do is check the tightness of these hinge bolts right here. Um, this is a stainless steel 5 16 inch bolt with a with a, a lock nut. There's one on each side and you may have to tighten or loosen this after mounting the brake. These bolts are designed to be tight enough to where the brake doesn't rattle around but loose enough to allow for the brake to pivot on that pivot point without binding up. Uh, so you just want to check that as long as the, the, the brake is operating well and you don't have to uh, Really punch it too hard to get it to go down as long as it's returning up to its position it, it should be just about right, but you can check and see if they look loose You can tighten them and usually what I do is I'll just kind of tighten them tighten them until I can tell that they're too tight and it's starting to bind and then back it off, you know a half or a quarter of a turn Enjoy your Jolly Dolly foot braking system.